Aries, welcome guys. I'm so glad you could be here. This is for your sun, moon, rising and Venus uh, signs today. And this is a timeless reading for you. So we're going to see what does spirit want you to know this week. Four Pisces, lovely Pisces. I love Pisces people. Okay, let's have a look. Pisces, what do you need to know this week? What does spirit want you to know this week, Pisces? Oh, this is so gorgeous. Look at that purple. Lady Portia, divine order. Do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding for you. And it's showing the crown chakra colors here. So beautiful. Look at these gorgeous purple flowers. So you might be wanting to wear purple this week or you might be seeing a lot of like being attracted to purple things. Um, it's just the crown chakra as well. So it's telling you that everything is aligning you're going to receive the wisdom that you need there might be a spiritual awakening for some of you this week um there is this just an inner knowing so you're going to know things you're not going to know how you know it you're just going to know it so you're going to know what to do okay in a situation an important lesson is unfolding you're going to get something so it could be as i said an awakening moment for some of you an epiphany coming through as to what the lesson is in a situation for you uh let's have a look what else someone's name might be Portia and then we've got choose another path the door is closed right here mm, interesting so once again divine order a door is closing it's meant to close okay don't push against that door and beat down that door trying to open it because it could be divine intervention as well that you're not you know that that chapter is closed for a purpose uh, lessons are to be learned from that this week now it could literally be that something ends this week maybe unexpectedly for you it could seem very um, uncomfortable scary painful it might even be a really good thing for some of you you might be like oh hurrah <laughs> you know finally that's done with uh, whatever your situation is it's saying choose another pathway there's another pathway another opportunity opening up for you um, which is amazing because once you have some knowledge with something and you know you can now ch close that chapter or close that door, uh, you'll have a better understanding as to where you're going. Spirit is leading you the way. So let's see, what else do you need to focus on? I'm getting the number 26 for you guys for some reason. So that could be the 26th of the month. It could be uh, someone's age. It could be, could be, um, could be anything. All right, 26 could be significant. What's this one? Oh my god, I've got a hole in my bag. Oh my god, I just realized I've got a hole on the bottom of my bag, but that one came out. Laugh, look at that laugh. And I just saw an orb go past just then. Spirit is with you, have, helping you to have a sense of humor. Now I'm just going to hold that because I did want to choose one. Okay, I do want to choose one as well under here. Yes, that's the one. Focus, okay, focus on your humor. Focus on the good things and the happiness in life. You know, might want to laugh at the lesson. Laugh at something, have a sense of humor at life, you know because great things are coming in and I feel like you do have a great sense of humor and maybe that's what gets you through and helps other people as well so try and focus on the good things uh the positive things see the the humor in the situation try to do that rise above it so let's get some uh angel numbers we got a number seven a number six a number seven and a number uh six look at that seven six seven six it's so funny so we're going to look at the number 76 first of all <clears throat> so we've got here take time to embrace your fears and realize that when you are plagued by fear you are on the verge of a miracle so just realize that whatever might be unfolding this week it might cause a bit of a meltdown for some of you it doesn't have to be a major bad thing but for some of you it could be really a freak out moment of oh my god you know like it's just like for an example it could be that suddenly you you've had money taken out of your bank that you weren't expecting and then oh my god you know I need more money where's it gone uh, it could be that a job offer you know or you might lose a job you know your job offer goes wrong or you lose a job or a, a relationship ends for you you find out someone's doing something behind your back it could be anything I'm not trying to scare you but it could be just an example of things that can just suddenly happen where you just freak out but there's amazing things coming for you so for some sometimes we do find out that people are not who they say they are 
and it's a blessing in disguise. So it could be for some of you that there is a blessing in disguise coming in this week that's actually helping to protect you from further harm or your family from further harm down the track, okay, down the track. <laughs> so it's saying choose another track, choose another path. So we've got this amazing energy coming in where um, you're being asked to look at your fears and realize that it's not the end of the world. Like it might seem like a really scary thing. could be something minor that you're just freaking out about, okay? But they're saying great things are coming in. Divine order is in play. And just do what you feel is right at the time. Spirit will guide you. And we've got 767. So it's not saying anything really bad's going to happen, but some people might think, oh my God, there's, you know, things are going wrong and, and we're looking at it in the way of, oh my God, everything's going wrong and I'm doomed, but it's not that way at all. So 767 is, this is a time for you to trust and thrive. Your gifts are being expressed and the angels around you are impressed by your capacity to shine brightly. Know that some of the best lessons come from being the teacher. It's time to share your knowledge with the world. So there's lessons coming in and you're really growing and you're quite psychic and insightful. Um, and you can overcome whatever this situation is and you can help others along the same journey. 600 and... What am I doing? 67. <clears throat> okay, 67. I'm... Starting to feel like I can't talk now. My throat's, my, my voice is going. 67, your thoughts are directing the flow of energy and support in your life. Take time to align with the thoughts that are serving your expansion. So focus on the good things, the happiness, the lessons. Embrace it. Um, 676. So we've got here, you have an opportunity to feel realigned and more connected to your life purpose at this time. Angel wisdom is encouraging you not to give up on projects that previously lit you up more than they do now. Sort out any unfinished business. So something is coming to a close in order to open up something more amazing for you. And now if you have a current or future person or partner that you'd like to have a message from, here we go. What do they want to say to you? They say to you, always remember that we are part of the divine plan, connected always in love, compassion and spiritual truth. Together we are one within the cosmic web of unconditional love and blissful serenity. When we ascend, we are enlightened to the meaning of our souls. How absolutely gorgeous. So this is a very strong spiritual, deep, deep spiritual connection right here. Could be a, like your, your ultimate soulmate, okay? Divine soulmate, uh, twin flame. This person um, was wanting to remind you of that spiritual contract, the spiritual love that you share together and the purpose as well, guys, of that love. I hope this has resonated this week and I look forward to catching up with you next time, guys. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe and uh, have a great week and I will see you then. Love and blessings.